Hey everyone, happy Halloween. Welcome to Conversations with Curtis. And uh, I dressed up for you today as the best I could do. I don't have a light gray t-shirt, but I did. I do have a dark gray t-shirt with a pocket and, and I rolled my sleeves up for you today. So so I'm, I'm dressed as, as Curtis Gray. I also tried to comb my hair down a little bit to look more like Curtis. So uh, so I'm, I'm coming at you as Curtis Craig today playing the Stanley Parable. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for, for joining. It is a great pocket t-shirt with the sleeves rolled up. Exactly, exactly. Um, <clears throat> welcome, guys. I see some new names I don't recognize. James Moore, good to see you. Ducko, nice to have you. Dragon Mutsu, I've seen you before. That's great. Velvet Tea Cake, you're here. Willem, another new person. Magic Herring. Thanks, guys. And do what do. I haven't seen you in a long time. No, I'm not sure I'm going to belly pier button pierce today. I don't think that's going <laughs> to that's going to happen. But we'll see. We'll see what uh, the narrator has in store for us during our, our playthrough today. But uh, welcome. I'm glad we're here. I hope you're all having a good week so far. Had fun uh, finishing the bunker yesterday. Lots of good stuff in that game. Uh, like I said, I feel like it was just sort of a, um, it was a really well done short game that shows just the tip of the iceberg of what a new uh, FMV game really could be if, if someone were to give that a go. And I hope someone does. Uh, also really into uh, Walking Dead. So we had a good time yesterday playing a couple different games and and then we're back at Stanley Parable today. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I got nothing else. Do I have anything else to share with you guys? I don't know. Uh, I'll check out the uh, show and proof. Happy Halloween. Yeah, Bunker is a sweet game. It's a, it's really well done. And I'm hoping to... Uh, it seems very likely that they have a more than a passing knowledge of Phantasmagoria 2. And it would be great to talk to the folks who made it and, and uh, find out what their inspiration was and and uh, and give them some props for doing a really good job. So I'm hoping that we can reach out to those guys and, and have a conversation with them. Um, today we are going to play some... <laughs> um, today we're going to play some... Uh... Stanley Parable. I think this will be my last playthrough. I don't know if I'll get through all the endings, but um, I have a cheat guide, and I'm hoping you guys will will help me too. But the whole goal is to get a, to as many different endings as we can today, <clears throat> and then we'll wrap up. And I think Thursday, if my schedule allows, I'm enjoying these these. Uh, solo streams. I think it's a great way to mix things up, you know, with uh, working with Daniel, Daniel and Tori, and whenever we have guests and things like that. Uh, a, um, a YouTube, a guy on YouTube commented about a game saying, you really have to play this game. I think it's, it's called Kentucky Route Zero. And I looked it up and it looks awesome. It looks right up my alley. So thank you. I forgot. Uh, Forgot your name. Who who recommended it? Shire or something? Shire or something? Sixty four. Uh, but thank you for that recommendation. And uh, if possible, I might try that. I'm not sure if you guys have played that before. I'd be curious what you think. Um, yes, yeah, looks like someone just subscribed. So thank you for doing that. Also, um, I'm not. I just want to. If you can, please donate today towards the stream. Help. Help conversations with Curtis stay alive. I'm not going to show our Patreon members because I don't have an updated list, but you could always join us on Patreon. And of course, you can donate and here, and then we can get, um, <laughs> you know, we can have uh, the funds to continue to give you guys these uh, these streams. So there you go. Let's see if we get some better light. I'm in a different spot in my house when I'm streaming. Myself, I'm in a different area than when I stream with Daniel. That's sort of my main computer. It's all lit up. I got a nice back green screen here. I'm in a little closet-like environment, which is a little less uh, less conducive. But I've got the nice PC that allows me to play these games. Stephen Pettigrew, welcome. Uh, I've been hearing good things about Kentucky Route Zero for ages. Would love to see that stream. Yeah, it looks really cool. And uh, 
I'm excited to give it a try. All right, shall we do this thing? Let's do this thing. I gotta say, I am just, you know, I, I can't say enough how much I like this game, how much I, how fun it is. Uh, let's get going. All right, we should be able to hear people. I'll turn this down a little. Um, I can't remember. I might need you guys to help me. Do I? I just begin the game, right? I don't need to load the game. We should just begin the game because it just takes me back to the beginning. Is that right? Yeah, I would love to show Stanley to to Tori. I think uh, that would be really fun. Uh, I'm not sure how, how and when we would do that, but uh, that would be fun. Maybe it'll happen sometime. Load the game. Okay, there we go. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's where we're. Okay. <clears throat> and now I can begin the game when I want to. Oh, that's right. I'm in. Uh, we decided to leave here. All right. Why don't we just try to get out of here? And, and then we'll try to find some new endings. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. We've done this before. We go up here and we jump off a bunch of times. Um, yeah, um, is there any reason to, if you begin, it won't remember things like the boarded up broom closet. Okay, yeah, so I loaded the game. Good. All right, we're good. Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think I forgot to save. I think it naturally saves. I hope. Wait. Did I not save the game? No. No, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Do you just not believe Is me? This... What can I say to convince you? Actually, this is how the second stream started. Oh, now, really? Okay. Shoot. Um. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Oh, uh, shoot. Okay, well, what's going to happen? Does that mean... Um, is this really how much you dislike my game? All of the... Uh, yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation So correctly? all the... Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't um, know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. No, I you guess didn't. that was too much to ask. Shoot, I forgot it to say it again. Like so... To make a choice after all. I recommend now, the point and click game Enigma Machine. Game about going inside of a mind of a rogue AI. Huh. <laughs> That's pretty... Pretty, uh topical these days um so did i i don't know what do i do here it over? it's over it's going yeah. to restart isn't it i'm going back i don't want to do the broom closet again <laughs> but i think i'm going to try i'm just going to try some different things and see what happens Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? I was told if you just he just sit in your office for a while, that. that's kind of no. fun. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. 
Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. <laughs> All right, we got that one. Now I, oh, blue room. We've done this before, All right? All co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's so funny. I, I've done. I, I. I did this. But you kind of forget after a while. It's all all blends together. But it also means. Um, when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's see here. Hold on. I'm going to try something. <clears throat> I, I want to find, say, doors. On, I'm going to look at the, I'm going to look at some stuff here. Um, endings before the doors. Okay, so next time. That was a blue door, so other games ending. So let's do right door ending. We've done the powerful cold feet apartment choices. We did the unplug the phone. What's ending? I think we've done that one too. Other games ending. Let's try this one. Head to the warehouse. Jump to the catwalk. Disobey the narrator. Play the narrator's new game. Oh, the mine. Play Minecraft. Play Portal. Fall to the end. Did we do that already? Yeah, we did that. The blue door. Yeah, we did that. We rated our experience. Did the baby game. Oh, someone shared with me on Discord. Somebody had, I guess, numerous people played the, the baby game for the four hours that it allows you to play. And uh, um, it's crazy. And so they did that. Um, yeah, I don't want to do this one. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, that's good. Play portal. All right, so there's that one. All right, I'm going to get out of this. I think we've done this one already. I'm going to play again, begin the game again. And I want to go to the I can't wait to here. tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? No matter how hard Stanley looked, wait, I... he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Somehow supposed to be get out, get out of here, right? Let's see. Let me look it up. Yeah, I'm going to try to go out the window. Is this the window I'm supposed to go out? Uh... Let's see, I'm gonna go back. Okay, so, window. Climb out the office window. Leave your office, head to desk 433, 434. You'll have to find a way out the window here, but since you can't jump, you'll need to try crouching up and down by the office chair at desk 434 until you can clip onto the top of the chair and then move onto the desk. What? Okay. How do I? Oh, that's 433. 434, okay. All right, let's get on the door here. Okay, I'm up. That's good. And then, <clears throat> okay. Now what, the narrator? From here, crouch under the top of the computer monitor and the desk divider and crouch down to fit onto the windowsill and you'll suddenly fall down outside the window into a plane of white space. Oh, really? Okay. How do I crouch? I'm using a finagle your way. Oh. 
things on my desktop here. Got to find my way onto the chair and then the desk. Yes, so I'm on the chair, on the desk, but how do I get over to the other side with the window? What I'm using like an Xbox controller thing, so what should I be? I go. Press A. Crouch. Crouch, I don't have crouch. B to crouch? No, it's not gonna let me do it. Huh. Okay, so it's gonna somehow I got out there. I do. No, I can't Stanley get up. Stanley went up. around touching every little thing in the office, <laughs> but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. How did I get up here? Come on. Is there anything I can use of it? Hmm. Hmm. What's up, fun guy plays? <clears throat> I want to go out the window, dang it. And I don't know. How did I get up the first time? So I walked over here, and then I walked to the chair. Hitting every button. Got up there somehow. But how? What are the buttons that we use to get on this thing? <laughs> so determined but frustrated at the same time. Can I go this way? I was up there the I was up there. Dang it. Hmm. <clears throat> there a jump button? Is there a what do I do? Oh, I was up. There we go, I'm up. I don't know how I got up. Now how do I get over? Huh. Seems like right there. There's a little spot right there, right? jump can I I am up but how do I get over to the no I actually went to get off again okay yeah I'm back up am I back up wasn't God dang it <clears throat> I am the trigger buttons, yeah, nothing's working. So uh, there's nothing. It just seems like if I get to a certain spot, I, I, it sort of allows me up. But. What does it say in the. Let me see what it says in the thing. It says, uh, for this ending, leave your office. You'll have to find a way out the uh, window, but since you can't jump, you'll need to try crouching up and down by the office chair. But what's the crouch? What do I do to crouch? <clears throat> and then move on to the desk, which I got up there. Alternatively, press control um, on the keyboard. Okay, I'll try that. From here, crouch under the top of the computer monitor and the desk divider. And crouch down fit into the windowsill. All right. <clears throat> Control. Okay, I got up. There we go. All right. Wait, not get up. Oh, that's my crouch. You're right. Okay. Goodness gracious, here we go. Control. There we go. Ah, wrong way. Can I 
get on the computer monitor. Oh, I did it! Yes! Yes! <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> this is worth it. This was worth it. Okay, now I'm in a white space. Can I walk through? What happened? At oh. first, Stanley assumed he'd <laughs> broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, so now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Too. Are you sick of this gag yet? Are you sick of this gag yet? Uh, no. No, I'm not sick of this gag Fungi yet. plays tipped five pieces of eight. Don't go into the light. <laughs> Thank you, Fungi plays. Uh, how do I say no? It's not letting me. Oh, uh, there's the... Which one? Yes. Or no. Come on. How do I do this? You're not letting me hit a yes or a no. Is there a button or is there... Oh, for God. I don't know how to say yes. It's not letting me... There's no, like... Yes. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want, <laughs> like right now. <clears throat> All right. Done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So just to push the envelope... I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. <laughs> there once was a man named Stanley. Oh, no. Who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. How did they did it all day? They put in so much effort into way. this. This is great. But his brain had long ceased to function, which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> you too will become quite unbearable. I bet you there's more. <laughs> you know that they that they they know the gamer's mind. They know that you want you will stick it all out. You will you will just see how far the game is going to go before you move on like to play that baby fire game that people would actually play it for four hours they knew people would do it and they know that i'm going to sit here until this stupid song is over i don't have the patience that other gamers have all right i'm gonna get out but this is funny this is very oh that's not it he said hit he said hit all right let's go oh my gosh all right, let's do it again. That was fun, though. All right, let's see what the next one is. Next one is... I want to try all the ones you do before you leave the... Um, before you go to the two doors. So, um, so endings before the doors. There's the coward ending. We just did the window ending. Heaven, computer input ending. Serious cheats ending. Whiteboard non-ending. Let's try the coward ending. What's that? Oh, the coward ending is we just did where we stay in our office. Okay, we did that already. Let's try the whiteboard cheats. Uh, heaven computer input ending. Let's try that. Okay. 
Go to Workstation 419 and you'll spot its computer monitor displays a black screen with white text that says awaiting input with an empty bar below it. Okay, let's do that. Oh no, this, I think it has to be a regular. I don't know, I forgot about this one. Did we do this one? I'm sure we did. Oh, there's one. Eh, let's, let's start over. I want, to, I want to do the one. Okay, this is normal. 419. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Or 18. 419. There we go. <laughs> Awaiting input. Okay. Wow, and now I'm standing up on there. Can I crouch down? Input received. Okay. So we just hit input received. Now now what? Let's take a look here. Uh, at this point, you will need to restart your game. If you begin at the two doors room, reset the game again until you start back in your office room. So you got to start back in the office room. Return to the second larger room where you found the first computer to interact. This time, turn right as you enter to inspect the far left corner workstation 423. Okay. <laughs> so great. This is so fun. Okay, let's start over. Begin the game again. All right, now I got to go to 423. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed oh. a memo. All right, now what? Okay. We're getting into real. Okay, let's try now. And the bar will grow a little. Uh, that's worth it. You should see another terminal waiting input this time with a small purple bar. Girl fan tipped fifteen dollars. Love the Stanley Parable. Happy Halloween. Hey, happy Halloween, girl fan. Thank you so much. I, I'm loving this game too, to, to a ridiculous degree. Uh, once you should restart, return the second larger room where you found the first computer. This time, turn left, right as you enter. Death 423, you should see another terminal way, but this time with a small purple bar. Interact with the computer to get input received, and the bar will grow a little bigger. Restart the game once more. Upon this new restart, leave your office room and head down the hall. Follow the hall right. Turn left when you see room 416, and head down the next hall to reach the two doors and follow the narrator's instruction to take the left door. Okay, so let's, after taking the left door, you'll pass through another door. Uh... You can enter the room with a broom closet. That we've done that already. Continue up two flights of stairs till you reach a room with red wallpaper, the boss's office. To the right, you'll find a small. Look at the terminal here to find it is awaiting input and interact with it to fill. Okay, so we got to go to the dot boss's office. Okay. <laughs> okay, so restart now, right? Wait, it wanted me to restart, right? Double checking because so I could go to the boss office right now. So once I've done 423, restart the game once more. Okay. I hope this is not too boring for you guys. I'm just, I'm, I kind of feel like I'm playing this game by myself and this is just the way I would do it on my own. I hope it's not too terribly boring. All of his co-workers were gone. Okay, so now what I got to go. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <clears throat> Apparently there's a... When we go to the office, the boss's office... Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling it's a wave of disbelief. Fired. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. 
Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I still don't get this being the way to the boss's office. This doesn't make sense. Maybe the back way to the boss's office. Okay, so now I gotta go to the computer. Nice. I, I never ever thought of looking at this before. All right, so now uh, move over a little bit. All right, waiting input. Boom, input received. Okay, now let's see what's next. Upon this new restart, and we did that, we're going to the office. Interact to put the, restart the game again. Input desk 434's computer, and then my computer. Okay, so fourth. <laughs> it's like a, I feel like I'm on a Easter egg hunt. Um, okay, so we're gonna stop here. Begin the game again. Go to 434. That's right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked. What? 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 <laughs> totally worth it. This is heaven. Oh, I can look around probably, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Ooh. What is he saying? All right. How long do they expect us to hang out here, waiting for some sort of button, punchline, is it too loud? It looks like it's a little too loud. Let me turn down the... Uh... Oh, every time I move over to OBS, it stops the desk audio. Uh... So you're not hearing anything now, but I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Okay. That seems a little bad. <clears throat> Saying buttons? Buttons. I have to... I guess, oh, I can go in. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I can push buttons. <laughs> so I can just push as many buttons as I want. Oh my gosh. This is heaven. This is a, this is a gamer's heaven. Just pushing buttons. This is hilarious. These guys are geniuses. I mean, just flat out geniuses. All right, is there anything else, anything else to do here? I can't imagine. Does, does it push them all? No way, but I bet you some of you have done it, right? And I can see why. There's a part of me that wants to push them all, but I'm not gonna. It's too, too. <laughs> All right, let's begin the game again. Oh, that's so funny. That is so funny. You know, they've created a game. You know, like we talk a lot about like how games need to find ways to prolong the experience for the gamer so that they get their money's worth. And a lot of times it's not very, <clears throat> very interesting. It's a lot of, you know, going down the wrong paths and things that aren't part of the story, but it's just there to kind of keep things going. But here's a game that knows that about games and then just creates these ridiculous moments and people do it. And and then the game laughs at you for doing the thing that it said you were going to do. Yeah. And Hank works likes pushing buttons. We all like pushing buttons. It's a good, it's a good thing. All right. What's next? All right. I'm going to look for the next, the next thing. Have I done the bit where you have to click on a bunch of doors a bunch of times to get an achievement? No. I don't think so. Um, 
I don't think so. But there was one, the right door endings. There is one here. I know what I read something. I'm just going to try this one. I think I remember what to do here. I'm just going to go to the boss's office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This is all. This all felt so f long and stretched out before, but now I either. feeling a wave feel of disbelief. Smaller and more Stanley decided to go up to his boss's navigable. office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming okay. to the staircase, Stanley walked up so, to his boss's office. So my understanding is, if I go into the boss's office and step back before the door shuts. That there's something that's going to happen here. And it's not going to work. Stepping into his manager's ah, office, shit. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered Wait in disbelief minute. who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What's up, Joseph? Yeah. Could not yeah, I mentioned this the other day. That I'm going to hop on here. Boss's desk, All, right. All right, let's see what I did wrong here. Okay. Uh, so confusion ending. I'm just gonna look through this stuff. I did. The back wall. You can take it to somehow appear high above the surveillance room. We did the seven doors. Do we do the seven doors? I don't know, guys. You should tell me if, if uh, at this point, I am. I am map escape pod ending. What's the escape pod ending? Go to the meeting room. I just don't know what the name of these ones. Reach the boss's office. Okay, here it is. Okay, so here it is. Once you're done looking around the meeting room, leave through blah, 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 room closet, continue two flights of stairs, but don't, okay. You can head left to check out the executive bathroom or head in through the double doors to the manager's office, but don't go in all the way. To get this ending to trigger, take a few steps into the room and then immediately turn and run out before the doors. So I guess I didn't turn. If done correctly, the narrator will begin to dictate Stanley stepping into the boss's office, but the rest of his dialogue will be cut off. Okay, so let's try that. I was on the right track. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Dragoon. <clears throat> and then in the meantime, while I'm trying to do this, if you guys what could it mean? want to... to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed uh, look up any of the names of the other endings that I haven't done and just say, hey, try the blah, blah, blah ending. And then, then I can look that up because I don't know Stanley the names of the of two open doors. He endings the door that we've left. already done. What's faster Yet, this there was one? Not a oh. single person here either. Don't get far. a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, so Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, so. And now I gotta go in, turn around. Stepping in. Yes, I did it. I did it. I don't know what's going to happen now. What am I supposed to do?
I didn't read ahead, so I, I know that I'm stuck here now. Escape pod. Should I look around? I'm sh I can look up what I'm supposed to do, but... Ah, uh, it's not. That thing's not on now. Oh, something happened. Nothing to do here. Can I wipe? Walk back to your oh oh. Walk back to my office. Okay. Wow, I didn't know I could go back. Okay, I've never gone backwards before. The doors are all open. I don't think we've ever gone backwards before. This is new, a new route, a new experience. Where's my narrator? How come you're not talking to me? Where are you, buddy? That door's closed. God, how did they come up with all this stuff? And how many drugs were they taking during the making of this game? There's a new door open. What's this door? This is going to be a dark. This is it. I can't get back in my door. Uh, all right, let's go in the dark abyss. Escape pod. That's it? Okay, good. <laughs> you are now leaving. <laughs> this is so great. What about this? 7.54, eh? Can I... Ah, there's that. I have choices. I don't like choices. That's locked. Okay, so I can... Can I do... There's a button right there, right? Is that the button? Yes, I can't call for the elevator. So there is no choices. Okay, fair enough. 7.54, here we come. What the heck? I'm confused. Wait, am I going upstairs? Oh my gosh, did I just... Escape pod bay, floor 760. So I was, that's where I just came, right? Okay, oh my gosh, okay, I just went upstairs. Now I have to go up to 760. I would get exercise if I knew which way I was going. Too bright in my... Oh, come on. I can't see. That's down. I have to follow the... So Losing perspective. Okay, here we go. I think it's this. You guys, don't... Why, why the darkness? I, I don't... Going back down. I've lost. I've completely lost track of perspective. All right. What? Follow the red lights. Where? But where are they? Okay. There we go. Where are they? Which way are they? Okay. Oh. 
I gotta get my perspective here completely. Jesus. Come on, I wanna do this. Okay, what's this? That's okay, there we go. Okay, now I got some perspective. There's that. 55. Did I go anywhere? Is this new? This is new. Okay. No, it's not new. It is new. Oh, well, I guess I did go up. All right, hold on a second. Okay. I follow the light. I go towards the light. Okay. See another light. There we go. There's the light. Okay, we go up here. All right, I'm getting there. Seven fifty-six. I'm getting my hang, getting the hang of it. Kinda. Okay, so follow. Go follow the light. Yeah. Okay. Now I get it. It has to be. You guys are so patient. I would be so frustrated with me right now. I'm already. Oh, what did I do? There we go. <laughs> I got lost again. There it is. Okay, shoot. The eight. I was liking this ending for a while, and now it's just darkness. There's a, there's a red light. Go towards the red light. That. No. One more. Seven sixty escape pod launch bay. Escape. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Hey, look at that. This might be the actual ending. What happened? What happened? Can't do anything. It just stopped. Oh, it's loading. No, no. That was fun. I mean, that was good, but I, I don't know. I wanted a little something else there. All right. Okay, so let's... Someone's saying random stuff says playing first person games with a controller is harder than a keyboard and a mouse. Having never done either prior to starting this channel, I, I wouldn't know. I assumed that the controller would be easier, but apparently that's not true. Now click on door 430 several times. What? Really? Okay. Sweet. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he... Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants... See, he just wants you to do things, uh, do repetition. That's so funny, and they get us to do it. Hmm. 
It's like bang your head against the wall. The satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes. Oh my god. 50 clicks. Oh my god, he's going to make me do it a hundred times and I'm going to do it. I got I'm in the I started I started I'm not counting. No, it's like no, I've no. Done. I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward. I'm going to give up. Effort. I want to see I give up? Hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Hey, thanks for subscribing, Terra's. Nice to have some new subscribers. And folks, anybody who is watching today and is in a position to help out like a couple of our supporters today girl fan and uh, fun guy plays we sure would appreciate uh your your uh support daniel put a very hefty goal this week i guess we are a little low on funds so that must be a different door door 417 clicking now really okay so go away from here good i don't want to all right, let's do that for the 417. Let's go 5417. How do you guys know all this stuff? Okay, here's for, wait, that's 416. This is 417. Do I have to let it shut behind me and then do it? Oh, there's 417. I was able to open and shut that door. What am I doing? Are you guys just messing with me? Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Do I? Do I do it? This is like, I didn't realize. We're... All right. Nope. Just keep going. Doors, doors, doors. Four, three, seven. Let's do it. Oh, I can't get into four. Oh, I guess I can. I guess I can open the door. Can I open these doors? No, I guess I can't. All right. Now what? All right. Tell me what to do. What's the next one? For the cheese. Do I have to keep going with 417? Keep going, Paul. You mean like just keep clicking on 417? Show me what you got. Click them doors. But I can't find 437. I can't get back to it. There's no... I can't... There's no way back to 437. All the doors are shut. I can't get there. It's 456. Yeah, I can't get to it. Keep going to find... Oh, keep going? Okay. It seems like we're going the opposite way. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the... This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Oh, and 46. Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted uh, to stop going the up. employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Do that. See if we can go. And so he I'm... detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Works 437, you guys just know. I can't do it. What do you... I guess I have to restart. Okay. So if I restart, do I still have to go click on this one to start just again? Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? 
Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. So, five <laughs> clicks. Now suppose I'm on 430. Or 20 times. I would say that's the so we did this last time. Do I have to do this again? I undoored it. All right. Okay, so I got I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. I don't know when I need to go to 417. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. Click, 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 click. Can't believe I'm doing this again. Might as well have just played the four hour Save the Baby from no, the Fire no, game. I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? There we go. Okay, he's telling me what to do now. All right, you guys are just getting ahead of the game. All right, so 417. Where's, let's find 437 along the way. All right, there's no 437. That's 417. Okay, let's do this. 20 clicks here. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Okay. I didn't do 20 clicks, though. All right, door's going to shut on me. So, which way is door 437? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, his left of four thirty. Oh, really? It's back where we just. Oh, but I'm. St I got. I don't know if I can go back. Can I? I can't go back. So I have to restart again. Ugh. Okay. Think, tell me I have to tell me unless I'm mistaken. Tell me I got to restart. This clicking game occurs outside this fork. Okay. Let's start again. Let's do it. Uh oh. Yeah. Let's start this again. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself. Let's find 437 before we do anything. Ah, here we go. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. What is it about it still being kind of, uh, in some weird way, satisfying? I, I don't. It's like pushing buttons. We're pushing buttons. Remember in the in the heaven, mm. they just I want us to say. I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps fifty clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly fifty clicks. Should let me do it faster. Okay, port 17, then back to port 37. Do, 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 do. All right, so I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do next after no, I fit. No, I'm, I'm still not feeling uh, it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Doing it. Doing it. All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. You got it. You got it, narrator. I'll do it. Whatever you say. Realize it was so close. Oh, wait. Four. Yeah, 437 is right here. <clears throat> Excellent. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. <laughs> oh, my God. This game knows you people. Me, us people. I guess we're all the same now. 415. I want my damn achievement. Where's my 
Achievement. Now, back to door number 437. <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna... Wait. I mess it up? There it is. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? Where's the copy machine? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, back to room 417. I'm really <laughs> feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> okay, how much do we do this? How do we really want me to keep doing this? Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. All right, let's do it. How do I climb up? I forgot. I have to... Yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. <laughs> oh my gosh, this game. We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! <laughs> oh, he must have had so much fun, this guy. Gotta talk to him, too. So many over to happen to our coffee machine. So I like doing this. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four three zero. Yes, we're gonna do it. He's not gonna ever let me do two, three. Yes, <laughs> we did it. Oh wow, that felt amazing. Oh, you've ah. earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. We Just got think, an achievement. Only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? All right, now what? What do I do now? We did it. Yes, okay. Uh, let me look around for another ending. But I don't know the name's ending. So here, I'm going to tell you what I got. And you tell me if we've done it already. <clears throat> uh, we've done heaven. We've done the broom closet. Confusion ending. Um, that's the adventure line one. That don't follow the adventure line. Follow the adventure line. Um, find a way out. Yeah, I don't want to go down in that. Explore the seven doors room. Um, go out the window again? Really? Okay, let's do it. I think I know how to do that. All right. Let's go back. Let's go. Am I so high up? What's going on here? Oh, what happened? Okay, let's go back up here. No, wasn't that? Crouch again, I'm crouching again, here we go. There we go, all right, back in. Okay. 
Yeah. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration Choose and realized no. it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Yes. I mean, no. I'm going to say no. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? I did that already. Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. Yeah. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable... I hope he starts singing to, again. Perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. What do I do? I'm either just going to stay here or get out of here. I have to start the game or get out. I can't push buttons. So the other option was better. All right, now what do we do? All right, there's, uh, we've done the museum escape ending. That was the first thing I did. Mariella Madness, I think we've done that. Countdown Bomb ending, we did that, right? Restart, okay. Nothing to do now. Um, awaiting input. Back to heaven. Where you go all the way to the type SV cheats one, which will get you put into a serious room as punished for trying to cheat the narrator. I haven't, I don't think I want to do that. I saw somebody posted it on uh, a, pic, a, photo, a video of it and then I got to see it. Um, I suppose we could try it, but I don't know. Um, it's got to be something else. Um, powerful cold feet fall death. We did that already. Oh, shoot, sorry. Over time, going from one window to another on this PC. Uh, apartment phone call. Essence of divine art. <laughs> out of bounds. We've done the out of bounds. What's essence of divine art? Um, catwalk, there's the blue door stuff. Yeah, it looks like we did that. Oh yeah, and that's all the baby stuff, okay. Um, face punch? I mean, type face punch. Just type it in the game, type it on my speaker, on my keypad, face punch. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Get the heck out of here. Kid. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the Holy. thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Wow. Totally changes everything. 
What's up, Ozzy? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. The narrator saved the baby game for four real world hours. Essence of oh, I see. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. What? Is this just the same game, but in this weird world? Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness, Stan. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Um. Alright, what do I do? This is, doesn't seem like I haven't gone here in a while. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I don't know, what do you guys think? Who understands this Easter egg and what's the story behind it? Do I do it again and it goes away? Yeah, it goes back. Okay, so fascinating. All right, there's that. Go back to normal. I think Look, I need Stanley, to... I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. We've done everything. Looks I like we've done everything. investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this So time. I know what we're going to do There's to finish this up. We'll finish it the way we started. Someone you've forgotten about. We'll go back through the museum. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm we'll... not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Mariella. Oh, stuff that happens here. I'm back into my apartment, right? Okay. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. Oh, no, 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 you can't. Did you just unplug the phone? Now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. Yeah, we did all this. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's he realizes that I'm not Stanley. And the two Face Punch is a video another. game studio that had an internet in, forum right, where this game got super popular the phone, is before that it released, helping it get more action. popular. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. Yeah, uh... Tyron says, if you do Ultra Deluxe next, it has loads more endings, much more content, including meta jokes about the Stanley Parable's popularity. You know, it's I'm sure it's great. These guys aren't going to do anything that isn't great. And I might be up for playing that. But I will say that the this game is so satisfying. Um, it has so much going for it that I don't feel a you know, I'm not feeling the need to get more Stanley Parable now. I imagine that the deluxe version came out a few years later, so people who had played and loved the game were like, oh my gosh, I get to do more, and that must have been, been great. Um, so maybe I'll come back to this later on. But, all right, let's... I know all what of to his co-workers were gone. What could it Wait, mean? Something I remember Stanley how to decided get... to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait, how do I get to the... Um... Oh, I have to go. I think I know what to do. Yeah. This is how we started. When we'll Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided yeah. to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. 
Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Feels like a fitting end to this this stream. End the it the way I started his it. manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living what was soul it again? Two, five, anywhere. Something? Could he really be all alone? This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees, bursting into half moans, half sobs, the guttural retching of life from a man denied any hope, any reason to keep going. Here on the floor, he lay prone, paralyzed by fear for nearly a full hour. But when at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found a key pad. 2845, thank you. Desk. What could it mean? Was it a sign of hope for Stanley's future? Alas, it was not. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy. Right, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. That's good. Did we do this earlier? I don't remember this. 8888, really? Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, maybe some other day I'll do 888. Thirty bucks for Ultra Deluxe. They added whole new branches of story and content, the building, and amazing Stanley jokes of varying complexity. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. No, that was true. It won't. No. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Here we go, boys and girls. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I did this the very first day. I think this is the very first ending I chose. What a Door rebel I am. was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. go as the machine it. whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise it reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever Stanley can't see the bigger picture he doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was no, a what this loss, is. like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. <clears throat> so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. There was Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Am I dead? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. 
What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? This feels like a fitting end, doesn't it? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? I do see. I see now. I shouldn't have seen this the day one. Look at that. That's the whole office. That's the whole area. All the desks. Filing cabinets. What do we have here? Things that didn't make sense to me before. Nature paintings. Still don't make sense to me now. Let's, see, let's try some of these doors. Not worth a shot. Buttons that we can push. Reddits. Well, Davey Reedon and William Pugh, you guys are geniuses. Absolute geniuses. Where'd you come from? How did you figure this out? Kevin Brightening. Brighting? Man, impeccable indeed. I'm not going <clears> to <throat> wander the museum too much. Model design. This is a small team. To make this game, doesn't it seem like there'd be way more people involved? This is a man. Impressive. Where are these all guys from? Are these all from uh, is this UK? Is this uh, US? Somewhere else? What is that? Boss's office scenes from the development of the boss's office. Oh, wow. So it's just like a backstage. Wow. Didn't really notice this stuff the first time. Play this here. I guess I am going to explore. Mind control facility. An early version of the underground portion of the game. Huh. How fun. Can't believe this is the first place I, <laughs> I went to. Narration outtakes, really? Kevin Brighting, the voice of the narrator, recorded dialogue for the entire game roughly three separate times over the two years of development. These are clips from early takes that were not used in the final game. Wait, I wanna hear it. I wanna hear it, where is it? Why aren't you letting me hear it? This is awesome. Well, your lounge, what a great lounge it is. As we've heard over and over again. Okay, now I'm lost. Uh, what's this? We did that one already. That's the early one. Okay, so let's get out of this room. Office clock. 11.30, not the real time. I mean that already. Okay, so let's go up here. Read them ending. This was the very first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha.
It's still great. Countdown desk. One of the desks from an early version of the countdown ending. Freedom ending. This is the freedom ending as it existed in beta. Monitor room elevator. For a time, the elevator in the monitor room could go up or down with freedom above and count down below. We abandoned this when players found it too difficult to remember what was up and what was down and paste two endings together instead. I don't know, this game wins my vote for like the greatest game ever. Countdown room, an early version of the countdown room. Zending model. Oh, yeah. This room represents the fourth version of the ending, and we thought it was complete, but decided to abandon and change it again shortly before launch. Wow. The game is now paused. Begin the game again. Resume the game again. Options return. For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu realized this was what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. Zending. The screenshot consists of an early version of the ending, known as the Zending, which was eventually cut and merged for the game. Wow. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm feeling... You know you do with uh, museums... These levers were originally part of the ending. The player would pull a lever and the narrator would describe what color they had pulled. All right. Why are we in? Oh, trailers. We ran four major teaser trailers over the course of the game's development. Each meant something about the spirit of the game. This is the first one released in May 2012. It features a series of broken rooms. Let's watch it. This is hilarious. This is such a museum. No voice, no. Doesn't feel at all like the game that I just played. There's have to turn something on. That yeah, doesn't matter. All right, well, guys, I think I'm kind of done. This is great. We finished the game. Let's see what's in here. More stuff. Meeting room. Can I get out? Let me out. Um, it's not. Done that already. Phone. The apartment timer. Is there a way to just make an exit here and then? Okay. Um, all right. I think this is it, guys. Uh, what do you think? Is there a place to get out of here where the game just starts on its own again? I thought there was an exit. <laughs> I thought there was an exit somewhere. All right. I don't want to do the exit. Uh, well, where's the exit? It's not in here. Let's find the exit. Let's do it. There's got to be an exit. It's 
that. Oh, there it is. There's an exit. I saw it. I remember last time we did this. Somebody was really frustrated with me. <laughs> and I could see why. Here we go. This is the perfect way to... Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. What else do you have to say to me, narrator lady? I like your voice. All right, here we go, guys. Let's call it a day. Boom. Hey. It's awesome. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let... All right, I'm going to stop it now. Perfect. All right, guys. That was mighty fine fun. Thank you for joining. Really appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> happy Halloween to you all. And uh, Daniel and I will be back with Grim Fandango tomorrow. Big week this week. And pretty much, I think we're going to do every, uh, I think we're going to stream every day this week. So look at us being, uh, being true Let's Players. Um, so Grim Fandango tomorrow maybe Kentucky Route Zero on Thursday. And then Friday, I don't know what we're doing. We'll figure something out. But uh, thanks for joining. I'm just going to look at the chat really quick. You could try the demo sometime, Paul. Yeah, I've heard good things about the demo, that it's very different. Um, it's a whole other experience. Yeah, I would like that. That that would be fun. I'm, I'm curious to, before moving forward, see all the stuff. Um, we did get the window ending. Um, and you loved random stuff, loved the deluxe, so that's great. Uh, the ride at Disneyland didn't go over well. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. All right, guys, I had a great time too. Um, we have a nice three series version, three ver three chapters of this game, which I think we did a good job. It was fun doing this with you all. Thanks for your help. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, I hope. Have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. buttons.